muy buenas amigos de YouTube, bienvenidos a un nuevo vídeo de Triangle Strategy y continuamos la aventura que está muy emocionante eh, después de eh, luchar contra la gente de, de Teriol de este reino de aquí que venían a atacar de esta casa de aquí que venían a atacar a la gente de Silvio y a atacar Walford, lo hemos defendido se han ido con Rufus eh, a sus tierras ¿Vale? aquí, Teriol, dominios de Teriol y ahora la tercera casa de Glacoburgo ¿Vale? Que es la gente de Fulkes que en teoría son muy afines a la Casa Real y que nos iban a ayudar a salvar, a vigilar, a, a salvar al, al príncipe Roland. Bueno, pues van a ser, están siendo atacados por la general Aplora de la Guardada, ¿vale? Vamos a ver aquí, Silvio es derrotado por un buen hacer y el liderazgo de Serinoa, una vez más, su primera opción es escabullirse, pero... Vamos a ver qué pasa, y yo creo que, bueno, es, es una teoría que tengo, que Rufus puede unirse a nosotros, puede ser. Al principio era muy borde, pero después no sé cómo ha acabado. Bueno. Tiene pinta que va a caer aquí este, ¿eh? Rufus. I came to collect my reward. Reward? Since when were losers ever rewarded? Perdedor, la dicha. Está listo. I remember our deal differently. As do I. I was promised an invincible executioner. You are nothing but a fraud. A sheep in wolf's clothing. <laughs> What's so funny? I have a new deal for you. Pay me what I'm owed or die. I I cannot give you what I do not possess. But if you kill me now, you will have lost to Wolfward with nothing to show for it. Let me live, on the other hand. I will find the coin to pay you. What do you say? Fine. But if I don't get that money, consider your life forfeit. Bueno, no, ya no lo que sabía no le iba a perdonar. Pero bueno, cosas más raras lo han visto. Va, por eso tenemos folkers. Tenemos historia de personaje. Mm, 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 mm. Los guardias paran a un joven vestido con unas pintas insólitas que repite sin cesar que es el nieto del archimago grandante. Vale. ¿Y esto dónde es? Ah, vale, es aquí tal cual. This is the encampment of House Wolfort. Splendid. For it's Lord Wolfort himself that I came to see. Lead me to him, my good... <laughs> Big words from a shady-looking fellow in that ridiculous garb. Be gone. Ridiculous? Why, I'll have you know that these robes are a treasured relic of... Did I ask about your robes? I said, be gone. Wait, I say! Who there? Lord Wolfort! Can you hear me? What's all the commotion here? This strange lad demands an audience with you, Lord Saranoa, and stubbornly refuses to leave. The name Narve. Narve. Grandson and last disciple of the Archmage Grandante, here to offer my services. Toda ayuda es poca. The Archmage Grandante. Forgive me, but in all my years of studying the arcane arts, I've... You haven't? Oh, I see. I suppose you won't. Ah, I'm sorry if I offended you. You needn't apologize, miss. Let's start over, shall we? Let me show you just what the final disciple of the Archmage Grandate can do. Incredible.
Well, what do you think? I've never seen anything quite like it. My illustrious grandfather, the Archmage Grandante, that is. Please, let me join your army. I'm most certain- Lord Saranoa, this boy possesses remarkable talent. I must admit, he would make a form- Thank you, Jila. Narv, I welcome you to House Wolfort. Thank you, my lord. My magic will change the world. Just do wait and see. Bien, bien. El mago definitivo capaz de controlar todos los elementos. Dispone de hechizos tanto de, los, de todos los elementos. Es capaz de hacer que los enemigos cambien de dirección. La guimbran gracias a sus hechizos de viento. Ah, eso es muy bueno. Abrirlos por la espalda. Vale, pues vamos con lo de Folkes. No tenemos otra. Sí, sí. Uf. Ya lo tienen, eh. Y espero que ayuda de esto, si es pobre de esta más que... Far too much blood has been spilled. I know how loyal you were to the late King Regna. We may be enemies, but you still have my respect. I would invite you to join our ranks. <laughs> you would dishonor me so. I prefer it to your death. Save your pity for someone who needs it. Your master will never have our loyalty, even if it means the end of the three high houses. <sighs> your majesty, I serve you even in death. His plot foiled and bested in battle by House Walford, Silvio Tellior flees, leaving everything behind. House Falks fights valiantly, but ultimately loses to General of Laura's army and joins their late king in death. Of Glenbrook's three high houses, Wolfort, Tellior, and Fox, two are felled by the Iron Hammer of Esfrost. House Wolfort now stands alone, in more peril than ever. So, two of Glenbrook's three high houses have fallen. Esfrost's invasion took me by surprise at first, but this is quite the interesting turn. Now, Wolfort stands alone, having lost both the crown and its allies. There is no better time for us to act. Then let us set the trap. Brimming with bait enough to lure them in and keep them there. As you command, the famed High House of the Salt Iron War will soon be under your thumb, my lord. Having control of their land will make our deliveries that much easier. Indeed, and House End will prosper more than ever. <laughs> Brute strength is not the only path to victory. A truly wise man can win without ever drawing his sword. ¿Qué planea este tío?
my lord, a bird from Sorsley End of Hyzant has arrived. He has offered to send us provisions and funds in light of our situation. A most welcome offer, to be sure, but... Why would he extend a helping hand to us now? Could he be after something? Undoubtedly, there are regrettably none so altruistic amongst the saintly seven. Seeing as Minister Sorsley has never shown much interest in other nations, I can only surmise this is a ploy to put House Wolfort in his debt. As I suspected, but our people and soldiers need all the help they can get. Let us accept his proposal. We can deal with whatever ulterior motives he may have once we are back on our feet. Understood. We shall discuss our countermeasures at another time. Bueno, hay más remedio, pero... Vale, tenemos aquí Castillo del Alba. Gustavo Adolfo a recibir las nuevas de Alora. Sus refugiados le llevarán a tomar una decisión, pero ¿cuál será? Eh, por arriba no tenemos nada, evidentemente. Y solo tenemos eso. Castillo del Alba. Congratulations on your victory in the Falk's Domain, General. Thank you, sir. They were proud warriors. And Lord Landroy, a formidable foe, despite his age. I imagine he was content to breathe his last on his beloved field. Thirty years have passed since the Salt Iron War. It was time he was put to rest beside that bygone era. Avlora, it is time you had a rest as well. What do you mean by that, Your Grace? Your soldiers have fought long and hard. Any long... But what of House Wolford? Prince Roland is still with them. Is that not cause for concern? There are no lords left worth worrying about. House Wolford stands alone. Even so, we would do well not to underestimate them. Even standing alone, they once changed the course of the Salt Iron War. House Wolfwood is no longer the hunter, but the hunted. <laughs> or do you believe you understand something that I do not, General? No. Forgive me, Your Grace. Yeah, yeah, yeah. En respuesta a la propuesta de Roland, rascado en sus propios pensamientos, Benei tiene algo muy directo que decir. Y no tenemos nada más, ¿vale? Es un capítulo de momento mucho hablar, mucho hablar. Vamos a ver si hay alguna pelea, sí o no. You wish to speak to me, Your Highness? I wish to leave the wolf ¿Eh? domain. ¿Qué quiere que hace? And you want me to persuade Lord Serenoa? Yes. Though I doubt he will welcome the conversation after the scales have spoken. But the people are tired. Their expressions grim. And this castle is no different. Even so, the decision was made together. Yes. But I think we all know that I am at the source of our troubles. The responsibility. 
A ver, el culpable es el otro, ¿no? If you truly wish to take responsibility, then I do. And I would hear it. Give me that ring. Venid de la balanza. But this is proof that I belong to the royal family. Have you die for your people? ¿Qué han ¿Ha muerto por las heridas de un combate o algo? O que lo ha entregado así, ¿no? Río de Norcelia Vega. Travis y Trish, padre e hija, pero también bandidos de oficio, se topan con una peculiar hallazgo en la orilla de un río. Se van a encontrar. No, porque esto es. Hostia, esto es Clacoburgo. La capital. Eh. Por favor, está aquí. Eh. ¿Qué van a orquestar? ¿Que se ha muerto el Roland? Eso es lo del principio. Hey, boss. Come take a look at this. Parece que sí que quieren hacer como que se el Roland. The poor soul. Or maybe not so poor, judging by these clothes. Hey, pa. Remember what I said about that reward money? Of course I do. This might just be him. Pa, take a look at this. Shiny ring, huh? Is that uh, the royal emblem? So look at the The corpse is regrettably too damaged to identify, but the royal signet is unmistakable. Aside from Cordelia, there is only one who would wear the royal family's ring. There can be no doubt, this is Prince Roland. S -s Excuse me, your grace, uh, but about that reward... Thalas, give them their coin. Yes, brother. Thank you kindly for your generosity, your grace. What a waste. Is this truly how the kingdom of Glenbrook meets its end? House Wolfort are no fools. Their friend was only a liability. They have spared themselves by forsaking the prince. They may have escaped, but there are none who would help them. There is no reason for us to concern ourselves with House Wolfort any longer. A shame. Your poor brother, betrayed by his most trusted friend. Oh, Roland. Ya, ya podría reconocerlo. Luz y sombra fin. Era vamos rápido. The news of Prince Roland's death spreads across the land like wildfire. With his demise, seemingly comes the end of the Kingdom of Glenbrook. But only days later, 
a proclamation is made that would bind S. Frost and Glenbrook. Bearer of the royal signet and last heir to the throne of Glenbrook, Cordelia is to ascend as queen. And wed Archduke Gustadolf. Esperanza Rota. Capítulo 9. Bastante rota, la verdad, la esperanza. Princess Cordelia is to wed the Archduke? Sí. What is the meaning of this? Gustadolf is the very one who invaded. But King Regna. What does it matter who the princess weds as long as Glenbrook lives on? It damn well matters to me. A convencer a la gente que no haya revueltas y demás. My people, our days of late have been dark and filled with strife. Both Glenbrook and Esfros have suffered countless losses. And we have lost both of our beloved princes. For that, I offer you my deepest condolences. As you all know, my father was sentenced to death for his role in this tragic event. But how do we come to grips with our sorrow and anger? How do we atone for our mistakes? Esfrost does not deserve your forgiveness! Do not submit to Gustadolf's will! Let us recognize our sins as such and move forward. Archduke Gustadolf has magnanimously given us another chance. A chance to see Glenbrook to a fair and free future. As the queen of this kingdom, I, Cordelia of House Glenbrook, do hereby accept the warmth and governance of Esfrost, and swear to do everything in my power to usher in an age of peace with the Archduke. With all due respect, sir, I do not believe Queen Cordelia to be fit for ruling Glenbrook. She does not need to be. She is to be our figurehead. A place for the people to focus both their hope and... And while the poor people of Glenbrook stumble in the dark, we shall establish a new government. One based in... Once the people have had a taste of true freedom Esfrost would offer them, there will be no turning back. By the time Cordelia births an heir, both this kingdom and its people will belong solely to Esfrost. I would be loath to stand upon a political battlefield. It is far more heartless than those of war. I am simply breathing new life into a kingdom of tired traditions. The people will thank me for it in time. Father, my brothers, I swear to avenge you. Lo raro es que no haya declarado delante de la gente a la casa Wolford como unos traidores también, ¿eh? Cuidado. Bueno, vamos a con los Wolford. La princesa Cordelia ha sido coronada como la nueva reina del reino de Galacoburgo. Las reacciones de la casa Wolford no se hacen de esperar. Y al final, ¿qué han hecho con Roland? ¿El Roland se ha quedado ahí, pero oculto o cómo va? Pues creo que quería ir. ¿Está ahí? Prince Roland, ¿has escuchado la adresa en la capital? Lo tengo. I won't forgive them for making Her Highness say such horrible things. Enough, Hewitt. But they lied about the King's death. They made it seem like Gustadoff was justified. 
say no more. If Cordelia can endure this, so can you. And as long as she lives, that is enough for me. Forgive me, Your Highness. We all understand how you feel, Prince Roland. No, I apologize. I lost control. Thinking about it will do us no good. We must rise to action. Indeed we must. Everyone knows of your death now. That means we are free to make our next move. Listen, my friends. Prince Roland of Glenbrook is dead. I am now merely Roland, a warrior who fled a fallen kingdom. I humbly ask for your support until the sun shines upon our royal line once again. Voy a cambiar el nombre también. Is that Sir Maxwell's? That mask. You look just like Sir Maxwell. This is a secret that shall stay within House Wolford. Master, grant me the strength to free our home from Esfrost's clutches. El padre no muere todavía. How is he doing? Better than before. He groans in pain from time to time, though. I see. I wish I could tell father about our situation now, but... Lord Serenoa, if your father were awake, I am certain he would praise you for safeguarding Wolfort. <sighs> Sad to say, the real trouble is only just beginning. I'll be damned if House End's protection comes for free. No doubt the longer we stay, the steeper the price. Precisely. Minister Sorsley is not an altruistic soul. If you were in his shoes, what would you do? I would squeeze us dry, then look for an opportunity to. But we won't let that happen. Of course not. Anna is already on the move. It is our duty to protect and guide this house. This heart ain't changed since the day Lord Simon took me in, lad. I'm ready to put my life on the line for this house. We'll get past this, one way or another. You'll see. Thank you so much, both of you. Mala gente tiene, eh? Se no al lado. Sí, sí. Vale, tenemos tres acciones. Vamos aquí arriba. El fallecimiento de un joven de muchas ambiciones sume en una profunda angustia al gobernador del condito Portón de las Atalayas. Esto es trago, nada, eh. Farok, the body of Lord Dragan is. Dragan, es verdad. So my son has finally returned home. Is something the matter? I think it better not to look, my lord. And and why is that? His face. There is no vestige of the handsome lad he once was. Oh. Oh. I understand. You are dismissed. I am 
so sorry, my boy. Como se entere este. I will find the one who did this to you. I swear it. Vale, el puerto de Wolford. Ana recaba rumores y demás secretos en el puerto de Wolford, un vendedor, lo cual por moneda del peso le cuenta algo muy interesante. Bien. I see. So there is an illicit salt tree. In this business, you cannot avoid rumors even if you try. They say sneaking under the consortium's nose is well worth the risk. And who is behind all this? I wish I could say. I am not asking you to tell me. How generous of you. It's but a rumor. They say none other than Minister End in Hyzant is pulling the string. And some free advice for you, my friend? You'd do well not to get involved. Why? I'm afraid that will cost a separate fee. Dinero, dinero, dinero. Why, thank you. Vamos a ver esto antes. Fontana de la sal. En las áreas salinas de la fontana no hay un alma que les amnesie una gota de agua. O tan solo paz para su ajado corazón. Eh, está todo muy, muy enredado. ¿eh? Vamos a ver aquí. No setbacks, I presume? None, sir. We are already well ahead of schedule. Splendid. The ledger, if you would. Yes, sir. I would hate for there to be a problem with our numbers. I will hold on to them. Of course, sir. Water! Put the poor thing out of its misery, Booker. <sighs> you must be firm with the Roselle. Show them the slightest mercy, and they'll think they deserve more. Yes, sir. Te van cargando todo, ¿eh? Ahí. Es cualquier cosa y te matan. Vamos a Wolford. Unos días después. Sarah, Noah, do you have a moment? I was hoping to talk to you about our marriage. Uh, tiene ya no se van a casar. Now that Glenbrook has been brought to ruin by Esfrost, is there any meaning to our union? <sighs> My brother may have been planning this from the start. And yet I came to Wolfort with the intent of marrying you, completely unaware of it. 
It's always like this. Nothing ever goes as I would wish it. The course of my life has always been at the mercy of others. As has mine. Almost nothing happens the way I thought it would. But you have a home. Somewhere you can return to someday. You are surrounded by people who care about Man, made us us. As do you, as a member of House Wolfort. Your place is with us now. Sarah Noah. And though this may sound pretentious, this is a time for you to think about your future and what you must do, Frederica. Just as I am. I suppose you are right. What must I do? Here you are. <laughs> Lila. Master Benedict has been searching for you both. Understood. Let it... De Yela desde el lado de la de la, de la balanza no no es feo de ella. You said we received a delivery from Minister Sorsley. Yes, mostly food and materials, plus a considerable amount of coin. That is quite kind of him. House End is a wealthy one, even by Hyzant's standards. This would barely put a dent in their coffers. We have distributed the resources as needed. We've even managed to restock our reserves. Wish I could be happy for the help, but I can't say I am. Agreed. Relying on them comes at a price. They will be looking for recompense. I believe that to be their true aim. But this is the path we chose to walk together. Indeed. And as long as we stay the course, the winds of favor will someday be... A missive from Minister Sorsley has arrived. I see he wastes no time. What absurd request could he pop? Nothing good, that's for sure. Balanza. Sirio no ha congregado a los integrantes de su casa para debatir sobre cómo proceder con unas nuevas que ha llegado de lejos. Yet another problem has arisen, as we anticipated. I would like to ask everyone what they think. Benedict, if you would. Yes, my lord. We have just received a request from Minister Sorsley. We are to deliver his cargo to Asfrost. Cargo? A load of salt that bypasses the consortium. He is asking us to be an accomplice to his illegal dealings. The nerve of him! Asking the Honorable House Wolfort to do such a filthy job. No. But consider this. Agreeing would secure us proof of his unlawful business. Are you suggesting we report him to Hyzand? I am saying it is an option. You got a point. We have a duty to speak up when something's not right. That's the honorable thing to do. We might even earn the Holy One's trust. Have you all forgotten? Minister Sorsley is one of Hyzan's saintly seven. His connections run far deeper than ours. We must tread carefully. Then we need solid evidence to convict him. I should think the salt he wishes us to transport would suffice. But we are the only ones that know it. And it is indistinguishable from the salt that is legally distributed. Far from the solid evidence we need. Regrettably so. 
One false move and we lose both Minister Sorcelay's support and Hyzant's trust. Without proof, we have no choice but to go to Esfrost. If only we had evidence of his misdeeds. It comes as no surprise to see our opinions differ. But a decision must be to report Minister Sorcelay's illegal dealings to Hyzant or become a silent. Bring the scales. It is time to make our choice. What do we do, people? I'm here for denunciar. We did survive a very hard fight, but very hard. But now the situation has become even more complicated for us. La decisión que tomemos cambiará nuestro destino irremediablemente. Debemos reflexionar y actuar tras tomar una clara decisión. Vale, tenemos que aceptemos la petición eh, que trafica. Tenemos a Roland, tenemos a Yela y tenemos a Huguet. En contra, denunciar está Benedict, que siempre es una persona muy sabia. Tenemos a eh, Frederica, que también. Y a este hombre que siempre me eh, Eribor, ¿no? Eh, Ana. No sabe. No opina. Así que vamos a ver cómo hacemos. Vamos a hablar con Ana. Es la que en teoría está ahí. ahí. Si es por tratar sale ilegalmente o denunciar el sóstulo, correremos peligro, pase lo que pase. No sabría deciros cuál es la opción correcta. Lo dejo a vuestro juicio de mi señor. Eh, tenemos un problema. Si participamos en el fraude del de, tráfico este, a lo mejor Sosturo nos denuncia diciendo, oye, son ellos. ¿Vale? Si los pillan, a decir, son ellos. En cambio, si lo denunciamos, sé que podemos caer en otras batallas con esto. No creo que el juego me, me machaque tanto como para decir, vas a morir sí o sí. No vamos a enfrentar a todo el mundo, pero los Wolford yo creo que van a poder eh, ser para adelante. ¿Quieres convencer a esta persona? Aceptemos la petición de la casa ND y trafiquemos la sala fraguelada. Creo que no conseguiré que cambie de mi parecer. Aparte, tenemos que llevar cosas a fraguelada, pero estamos de chiste. Debemos dirigirnos a Donalgia para denunciar esta actividad ilegal. Lo malo es que si nos dirigimos a casa de Donalgia, dejamos nuestro reino de Wolford y nuestra casa y pueden atacarnos. También. Así que iréis a Donalgia para denunciar al saltinente Sóstulo. Ahora mismo es demasiado peligroso para acercarnos a un territorio enemigo como fraguelada. Roland correría peligro allí. Puede que no tengamos pruebas, pero nos han pedido hacer el contrabando. Podríamos recibir apoyo si consigo hablar, hablar con los demás ungidos. Ya conocemos todo formalmente al maese Exarme y a la catedrática de Laila. Ya son dos ungidos que pueden estar dispuestos a hablar con nosotros. Pero aunque recibamos su apoyo, el oráculo no confiará en nuestra palabra, como no dispongamos de pruebas. Tras pensarlo bastante, he concluido que debo dirigirme a Donagia. Va, ha dicho que sí. Eh, vamos a hablar con Juguet. Como su alteza ya ha propuesto, deberíamos dirigirnos a Fraguelada. Además, ni siquiera contamos con pruebas de esta actividad ilícita. Denunciarla antes a la hora que sería un fracaso rotundo. Mm, debemos dirigirnos a Donalgia para denunciar esta actividad legal. ¿Don Signora se opone a que vayamos a Fragolada? Apenas acaba de anunciarse la muerte de Roland, su vida peligraría si vamos rumbo al archiducado. Ante la falta de pruebas nos tocará hallarlas. Denunciamos sus negocios ilegales y no participemos en ellos. Claro, si por mí fuera... Tampoco colaboraría en traficar sal de forma ilícita. Pero tampoco podemos inculpar al saltindente Sóstulo tan fácilmente, ¿sabe? Fíjese en que hasta nos ha dado la sal como si nada. Lo pasaremos mal como nos, no conseguimos alguna prueba contra él. Muy bien, quisiera hablar un poco más contigo. Con gusto, siéntase libre de contarme lo que piensa Don Serinoa. Una actividad tan infame manchará para siempre el honor de la casa Wolford y de la familia real. Es algo que quiero evitar. Lo denunciaremos, no solo para evitar ensuciarnos las manos, sino para mostrar al oráculo nuestra voluntad y ganarnos su apoyo. Entiendo. Pienso aprovechar esta denuncia para acercarnos más a la cúpula de Donagia. Si todo sale bien, recibiremos apoyo aparte de la casa de Ende y no tendríamos que hablar con el contrabando de la sal. 
no será un camino de rosas, pero el riesgo podría merecer la pena. Todavía ha sido indecisa, pero me alegro de haber podido hablar con usted. Vale, vamos con... Hostia, pensaba que lo había hecho al revés. <ríe> oh Dios, no puede ser. Eh... Yela, Yela siempre en mi contra. ¿no? El poder que ostenta cada uno de los siete ungidos en la Santa Secre es inca incalculable. Y esto incluye también los saltinentes Ostrua. Denunciaros conlleva un gran riesgo, por lo que os ruego precaución a la hora de tomar vuestra decisión. Vamos a denunciar. Será una decisión difícil de tomar, pero por mi parte apoyo la moción de ir a Fragolada. Es demasiado peligroso adentrarnos en un país enemigo como Fragolada, especialmente sin saber con quién haríamos la transacción. La producción y la gestión de la sal son las piedras angulares de Dunarcia. No se quedan de brazos cruzados si descubren que se sal trafica ilegalmente. Como alguien que ha vivido en Dunarcia, comprendo bien vuestros temores. En la sal sede, todo aquel que vaya por vaya en contra del credo de la diosa recibe el mayor castigo, sin negociación o constitución que valga. Tenemos que alejarnos de todo lo que pueda interpretarse como un delito si valoramos nuestras vidas. Yela, veo que sabes bastante sobre la Dunarcia. ¿Podrías contarme más sobre la Sacra Sede? ¿Tanto queréis denunciar al salto inminente de Sostura, don Serino? Todo acto criminal termina saliendo a la luz. Prefiero denunciarlo antes de que eso pase y así ganarnos la confianza de Dunarcia. La casa Wolford se opone a todo tipo de injusticia. Quiero proteger el honor de nuestra casa. Voy a poner lo, lo segundo, para repartir un poco. Puedo entender bien vuestro planteamiento, como práctica que sois. Pero fracasar en ello conlleva la posibilidad de que nuestra casa perezca. No veo mucho sentido a correr ese riesgo por nuestra reputación. Aunque queda un poco de, de tiempo antes de comenzar la votación. Así que quiero que lo aproveches para reflexionar sobre si denunciamos o no. Vale, Yela la quitamos. Yela va a votar que sí, que, que, que vayamos a fragolada. Lo sé, es una traidora. Eh, Roland. No tenemos pruebas no, contundentes no. de este comercio ilícito y tampoco deberíamos empeorar nuestras relaciones de tecnología. Perderemos su apoyo como lo hagamos. Ahora mismo lo importante es poder contar con ellos, así que no nos queda más remedio que aceptar su propuesta. No. Aborrezco la idea de contribuir a tal ilegalidad, pero denunciar al saltinente de los sin suficientes pruebas solo supondrá un fracaso. La casa en de busca que seamos sus peones. ¿No crees que si aceptamos esta petición seguirán usándonos a su antojo? Tu muerte es considerada como un hecho oficial, pero todavía es peligroso que nos dirijamos a Fragolada. La primera. Ya lo sé, no tiene por qué decírmelo. La cuestión es que no podemos hacer mucho más. Asco de todo, si tan solo tuviéramos una prueba. ¿Qué pasa? ¿Quieres decirme algo más? Dame tu opinión sincera, no te cortes ni un pelo. Como vas a ser de la familia real, no quiero que te involucres en algo que pueda manchar tu honor y reputación. Si nos vamos a donar y negociamos con otro de los siete ungidos, podremos recibir apoyo de su parte. Pues sería más que perfecto si pudiéramos recibir apoyo de sin tener que inmiscuirnos en una actividad criminal. Ya conocemos al mariscal Echarme y a la catedrática Laila, así que quizás ellos tienen dispu están dispuestos a escucharnos. No será difícil, por lo decir peligroso, intentamos delatarlos, pero puede que valga la pena plantearnos esta opción. Vale, en teoría estamos eh, los cuatro indecisos, ¿vale? Tenemos tres votos, vamos a denunciar a, a Sóstulo. Vamos a proceder a la votación. Esperemos tener suerte y a ver qué tal. Comienza las elecciones. It is time to cast our votes. Do we follow Sorcelay's orders and smuggle salt across our borders, or do we approach the scales of conviction with your token at the ready? I stand by my decision. Oh. Uno, uno, dos, uno en teoría. I'm afraid I disagree. Tenemos su dos, dos. Ah, y la esta la podemos echar a alguien de aquí de, del de pueblo. I agree. Toma, toma, tres dos. I cannot be swayed. 
Ya está mal esto. Y yo no voto, porque no sé por qué se le no vota. A ver, si todo está como modesto, eran 3-3 y Ana ha decidido porque yo le he dicho lo otro. Pero está muy feo eso, ¿no? O sea, ni Yela la consigo convencer, ni a Objet, ni a, ni a Roland. Pérdida de tiempo. Toma, toma. Pero Yela, eres una traidora. The way forward is decided. We marched to Hyzant and exposed the minister's illicit dealings. Y la eres mala gente, eh. Es traidora más no poder. We have chosen our path. We shall head to Hyzant and alert them of Minister Sorcelay's wrongdoings. Now that we have a heading, we need only move forward. Let us make haste. Indeed. No matter how perilous the road ahead may be, we... Anna, begin the preparations. Yes, sir. Roland vota al otro, pero vámonos a darnos prisa. Esperanza rota el final del, del capítulo. Vamos. Okay. In exchange for his aid, Sorcelay orders House Wolfort to transport his illicit salt. Serenoa, however, <laughs> intends to bring word of the Minister's crimes to the Holy State of Hyzant. In order to succeed, he must delve deep into the nation's internal affairs while avoiding Sorcelay's notice. Marcha hasta los confines. Capítulo 9. So you've decided to accept my proposal. A wise decision, Lord Serenoa. As you have requested, none shall know of the salt's death. But you are still too young for true wisdom, it seems. Huh. He means, let us not speak of the obvious, my lord. It's prudent to speak as little as possible to prevent any unnecessary complications. One never knows who might be listening. <laughs> Fortune favored you with a capable retainer. I beg your pardon, minister, but I must entreat you to recall the aid you offered in exchange... I give you my word it shall be done. Booker, I'll leave the rest of the arrangements to you. Yes, Minister. If you all will follow me into the antechamber, we may discuss the details further. ¿Estamos haciendo el lío o no? Fortalece el cauce arenal. Ciudad capital de la Sacra Sede. Vale. Está fuerte esto, ¿eh? Hostia, tenemos aquí el Castillo del Alba. ¿Y cuál es la misión que tenemos que hacer? Está lamentado esto. Bueno, lo dejamos aquí en este capítulo, un capítulo de mucho hablar. Pero hemos tomado una decisión. Eh, como siempre, Yela me traiciona. Roland, pues también, no, nunca hace caso a lo que le digo. Y bueno, vamos. Hemos salido con la decisión correcta, pero a ver cómo tra tratamos este tema de la denuncia de la sal. Espero que os haya gustado este vídeo. Ya sabéis, darle like y suscribiros al canal para más. Y nos vemos en el próximo. Hasta pronto.